Hi, I'm Scott Campbell. Welcome to my window painting tutorials. Lesson number nine, detail lettering. In this video, I want to talk about practicing the detail lettering, or the black, uh, the smaller stuff. And uh, you can practice on a window at your house, or also like your, if you have a sliding glass window in the back, you can do that. And uh, what I did here is I picked up a window at a Liquidators and uh, mounted it, and then I painted in with uh, like a light blue, which is good because it's it's uh, it covers easier the light blue. And then next thing you do is you take some tape, or you can like uh, get a pencil or felt tip pen or whatever, and draw out some lines, and uh, and then you just start practicing. It's all about practicing, and. Uh, you can practice like all your different alphabets. Here we have some Zell vinyl on the left and uh, <clears throat> also Ronin Aqua Coat Black works good too and I'm gonna leave links for the Zell vinyl paint and also the Ronin paint. Like right here I'm using the Zell vinyl. I, I kind of like that better. The Ronin, is a, Ronin Aqua Coat is more affordable. And the brush I use is the Utrecht 230. It's like a long single stroke which is above here and it's also featured here. I'm using it as a border to separate myself from the video. Anyway, just keep lettering, keep lettering, keep practicing. I don't have to do this obviously because I paint every day and I'm always just in my work I'm practicing. But uh, And then you can try different fonts and different lettering and experiment, do whatever you want. It's not, <clears throat> it's not a big deal. It's all about just practicing every night, every day. And uh, when you're not working or you're not doing windows, you just got to keep moving and keep doing stuff. Now here I slowed it way down because I wanted to show you how I turned the brush on end and stuff. And you can get all that thick and thin stuff going on. And uh, it's all about control and training your brain, training your mind to be able to do it. You know, people look at me and they're like, oh my gosh, how can you do that? Well, if you painted 70,000 windows like I have, and then you figure out how many characters have I painted? How many words have I painted? Probably a million characters at least. <laughs> but anyway, it's just, again, it's practice makes perfect. So here you can see see the brush is turned on end. And then you just pull it. And then it's, just, it's a matter of pushing down. You can make it super thick, super thin. And this is great for outlining too. Like in the past video I just did, it's the one that breathes life into the characters. You know, it gives it a lot of feeling and a lot of, uh, a lot of flair. So that's what I suggest. Get yourself a window or something and start practicing. You can also practice on newspaper too or whatever. And then when you're done, you just uh, spray it in some water, it's open water, and scrape it off. And uh, you can start again and uh, it's great but like I said this is what I do all day every day I'm always doing the lettering so I'm used to it but it's basically the same thing if you get yourself it's better to work on glass rather than to get newspaper